And once again guys, welcome back to the World War 2 tutorial series with me Metallic Shard. Today we've got a rather unique aircraft. This is the British Bolton Pool Defiant Turret Fighter. And the reason it's called a turret fighter is because it actually had no forward armament whatsoever. It solely relied on this turret for defence and offence. And uh, when it came into action in early World War 2, along with its uh, strange looks and aspects, it also came with strange tactics, which were effective originally against the Germans. However, this was more vulnerable to the German fighters, and its lack of forward armaments did prove a problem in day fighting. So eventually it got switched to a night fighter role, destroying plenty of bombers over the Blitz, and proved itself quite a success. However, it did eventually get replaced by the likes of the Bristol Bowfighter and also the de Havilland Mosquito. This being such a uh, unique plane, it is uh, quite a favourite of mine and uh, not something that you'll forget easily. I just love this plane because it really is so strange. But anyway, uh, let's build our Defiant. Alright, so I'll be making the uh, brown and green day fighter camouflage version. But if you want to go ahead and make the Night Fighter camouflage, well, you know what to do. Simply make it in nether brick. And also use the darker glass, the dark grey glass for the propeller. And also a modified banner, which I'll show you at the end of this particular one. So we'll come to that in a minute. But anyhow, for the Day Fighter one, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to make an 11 block line of spruce wood plank blocks. and then a slab at the end. At the front here, count one block in, then place seven slabs underneath. Then count two slabs in here, break these two slabs, and then place steps facing this way and this way like that. This is like uh, one of the, I don't know, engine intake vent things or something like that. And now count three blocks in from the front here, and on the third block, glass pane, then glass, then uh, leave one block gap here, then more glass, then upside down steps like this. Then just place a fence gate for your gun, and then behind the fence gate, another slab. Once again, leave a block gap, and then steps, solid block steps, one solid block at the back, and then a slab on top. The tail is simple, it's an L shape, and it's one block in from the back, level with the top half of these two blocks here, and it simply goes like that. The main wing, uh, that is going to start here, and it's going to be a 3 times 3 slab square, then we're going to go in one block from the back here and make a 2 times 3 slab rectangle and then finally one extra slab at the end. The propeller is your standard skeleton skull, glass all the way around. and glass panes to finish off. Am I missing anything? Yes I am. Of course uh, we need the tail wheel. So count two blocks in and uh, well on the third block here just place a block of anything so you can attach it with a skull to it. Break it and replace it with a lever. And then one more thing a sort of uh, I don't know sticky out uh, grab a spruce fence gate, count two blocks in from the edge of the wing and then just place it there. Right, I think we can move on to the camouflage so go ahead and grab some green carpet and green wool. Uh, oh, there's a green wool. And just apply it in whatever way suits you. 
bearing in mind we're not done with the tutorial yet we've still got to add the banner also be careful if you're breaking this block because obviously you're going to take out the lever and if you're placing carpet don't place it there because there won't be any room for the banners it's a shame really but you can't place banners on carpet like that alright and now for the banners so go ahead and grab a crafting table and then lapis lazuli cactus green and rose red and if you're doing the night fighter version you're going to want um, an, uh, ink sacks okay so it's really simple <coughs> we're making this French flag thing it's really not the French flag but I call it the French flag because it's simple so you can see what I'm doing here then we're simply halving the height of the banner like that we're making these two so we've got to make a second version at this time with the red to the left so you can see they're basically mirrored versions of each other because the red on this banner must always be facing forwards and if you're doing the night fighter version of the uh, Bolton pool defiant then simply instead of making the bottom part green make it black and apply in the same way you just saw there but that is uh, really it that is our Bolton pool defiant done so if you enjoyed this tutorial guys uh, please leave a like or subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and I'll see you next time